Hello, goodbye, and hello again. Welcome back to Night in the Woods. We're at the point of the game where I can't get past here without first cracking open a beer. So... Hold on. Hold on. There we go. Okay. Oh, jeez. No, no, don't foam over. Okay. False alarm. I think. Alright! <clears throat> That's weird, they didn't color in a line this time. That's strange. Alright. <clears throat> Haven't been on a night hike in a long time. Gotta listen to the... <clears throat> Gotta listen for the owls! Why? No reason! <laughs> Alright. I got work in the morning. Let's go catch us a ghost. Skull hole! Little Joe's dang skull! Is this why his spirit wanders? Must be avenged? Saw him. Everybody join the party! How have I never been back up here? Vince's work. Nah, people are up here all the time! I came here when I was like 12! What's up here? Just old junk and trees and animals. What is it, B? Nothing. Nothing? I was praying. Wow. Really? Yeah, let's go. <sighs> Wait! What? I think I heard now. Oh, hon. He's traumatized, dude. Greg got attacked by an owl, B. What? When? When we were breaking into that history place. I don't think they attack groups, bug. Well, if I get mauled to death, I'm warning you all. I'll punch any owl that gets near you. Ah, thanks, Captain. Big dangerous Greg, scared of birds. I almost died from that owl. It's true. You should see what he did to the other guy. Wow. Gotta pull all this stuff somewhere, I guess. You remember this from when you were 12, Greg? Yeah, I was scared of it. How'd they even get all this back up in here? <laughs> What's up? Nothing. Just, like, all this old, old stuff out here. It's here every night when you go to sleep. So, it's out here in the dark. So old. So old, so old, so old. Dude, hey, man! I'm fine. We should go back. This is stupid. No, it's fine. Ghost hunt. Woo, fun. What the... Huh? Oh my god. 
No, no! Oh, hell, he's waking up already. Anyone got any juice? No, no, guys! Oh, hell. Guys, guys, wait! Blur, you know this was gonna happen. You knew it the moment you screwed this whole thing up. It ain't like you weren't on the other side of this before. It was a mistake! I owned up to it! Blur, this is you owning up to it. Aren't I allowed to make one mistake? One mistake? You left a goddamn arm in front of the click clack. Cause of you, God knows what's gonna happen to this town. What was I supposed to do? It was your screw up. Ugh, his leg's stuck. And it weren't like I couldn't have called any of, it weren't like you couldn't have called any of us. I panicked, okay? I was embarrassed. I sure wish you'd called me, Merlerv. You think any of us want to do this? Guys, we can figure something out. Nothing to figure out. But, but, but I got family. Merlerv, don't insult us. You know you don't gotta worry about Judy and the girls. They will be completely taken care of. They'll never want for nothing. He ain't gonna budge with that leg sticking straight out. Oh hell. To Dave, Rick, Biddy, guys, you know me. All right, Dave, you hold him. I'm sorry, Lerv. You know we got no choice. And I'd appreciate it if you stop laying a guilt trip on us. No, no, no! Hold him still. No! Ah! Hold still. This will go easier if. Alright, he's free. Larv. Ah! Ah! Larv. Ain't no one can hear you this far out. You're just putting yourself to more anguish and... Ah! 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 I... Aw, oh, hell. Let's get this over with. Wish you'd just make this easy, Larv. Oh god, his bone's sticking out. <gasps> the hell? Shit! May? May Borowski? Run! Run! The end of everything. Nice. Nice! Yep. I barely remember how to play this. It's like riding a bike! I play this game in my head when I'm falling asleep! Hmm. I like to go over the plot of books the books I've read. Ooh, look at the Sparty! I try to remember every place I've ever been. In order! Wow. Alright. Well.
I don't see anyone out there. Just wait. You'll be back. And the cops? We call. They don't care. That's it? Sir, did you say it's saw a man outside? Sir, that's not illegal. So no word from her parents? Nope. Did you... Um, that's bad, right? Yep. Yep. Thanks, guys. I played this until I broke one of the sticks. That's harsh! It was a stressful time. Senior year. I remember! Sorry about your mom! Thanks. I am so tired. I could, like, curl up on their bed. There's, like, a whole living area under there. Okay, so, got brownies, got sodas, want some brownies, I'm making brownies, and, yeah, maybe lasagna, brownies, I got some mix last week, why all the food, need to eat, Everyone needs to eat. Aren't you, like, scared or worried? Good dinner makes everyone feel better. Someone's gotta take care of you. Thanks, Angus. You're extremely good. Aw, uh, no more than anyone else. Guys, this is a bad situation. Yep. Yup. Yes, sir. Wait, everybody shut up. What? I heard it too. Seriously, what? There's someone standing outside the door. What? Everybody be very quiet! Oh my god.
Chug, 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 chug while I can. God is here. In this room. I believe that. Times like this, we can call out and know that our cries are heard. <laughs> While we're here, maybe someone would like to say something about May? That'd be nice. May is my friend. Please God, let May be okay. She's really a nice person, even if she doesn't know it. I wrote her a part in a movie I want to make, Thrill Kill Witch Cult. I know she'd appreciate that. Who are you again? Lori Bayers. Thank you, Lori. Anyone else? May is a good girl. She and I explored the stars, and, and she loved to hear about them. She, I'm so sorry. It can be difficult. Anyone else? I've always known May as the kid down the street. A little younger than me, but tough. I've been through it in the past couple of years. Addiction, jail, rehab, divorce, and I just think it's not fair that May of all people should have trouble. Where's the God in that? Where's the higher power? This is all a bunch of bullshit. Thank you, Selma. Anyone else? I'll say something. May Borowski's always been a menace. And I called the police on her more than once. I hope she wakes up and learns a lesson. That's all I gotta say. Uh, okay. Thank you, William. I'll speak up. Go ahead. May was the daughter to all of us on the block. Speak for yourself. Sometimes folks in the wrong uh, folks is in the wrong place at the wrong time. I hope we find out exactly what happened to her. Oh, we know. Her friends told us. Yeah, they were out in the woods at night, down in the end of Center Ave, and someone was out there hunting illegally, and they got shot at. And May fell, and she must have fallen off a million things a million times. All it takes is landing the wrong way one time, and... Oh, well, I hope she wakes up soon and tells us all about it. See if she remembers who done it. I'm sure she... Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt. What's happened to this one? Do we know you? Oh, I'm sorry. Do we know you? Are you here to clean up? Nah. Supposed to be fixing a door. In here? Nope. Okay, so... She's gonna be fine. For today, at least, ways. What? What? Who are you? Janitor. The house is gone. May! Oh, thank God! What did you say, May? It's dead. What's dead, honey? May, honey? Everything.
Oh my god! E oh my god! May? Holy shit! It's May! It's me! You came back to life! I don't think she was dead. Pizza party! I'm feeling woozy. You should lay down. You can sleep in our bed! I feel weird about that. What about the couch? Do I have to stop playing? No. The sound is good. Her mom said it's okay to keep her here. I'll drive her home later. So she just, like, wandered out of her house? Yeah, and all the way here. Jeez. Lucky she didn't pass out somewhere out there. I sure hope she's alright! Me too! She's a good person! Both of you, shh! No! What? It's Leaf Noisy! So how do you guys know this guy? We order pizza, what, like, twice a week? At least. From out on the highway now, since possibilities is down, closed down. I thought you two were trying to save money. What? Don't police our lifestyle, B. Okay, well, just as long as you're sure the delivery guy is safe. I can spot him through the keyhole. If it's not him, we'll turn off the light. And I guess hide here until we die. Alright, well, as long as there's a plan. Hello? Look who's awake. It's him. It's the pizza guy. Pizza's here! Uh. So what happened? No, wait, no. So what happened? We called the cops. Your aunt and some guy fished you out of the woods. You were like in a coma. Did you die? Nah, just took a very long nap. Nice! Uh, yeah. Nice. Uh, I had this dream. Or like, a vision. Or I time traveled. I don't know. I'm like, in and out of consciousness. Can you not eat? You should eat. I don't know if I can. Sorry, Mom. You scared us to death, honey. Sorry, Mom. We'll come and pick you up. No, it's cool. I'm just gonna sleep here. B is there? B is here. Okay. I'll be back in the morning. Have B drive you home. I will. Hey. I know. 
Give us a call. You need to come home. I will. Love you, Mom. Love you too, sweetie. You want a brownie? Nah, I can't really eat right now. Like, I'd puke, but there isn't anything in there. So I'd like, puke my actual guts out. Oh, right. You need your guts. For the moment, at least. Dude, wild week, huh? You could say that. Would we get out of this? I don't know if we're getting out of this. Well, even if we don't, and we're ghosts, we should hang out more. Deal. Sorry, Greg, I didn't really get to you this playthrough. What even was that game? Werewolf! Shred the Gnar 3! Wow. I played this at Casey's house, like, years ago. I played it yesterday! At home! Cool. They've got Wi-Fi. Nice. It's like we're a real place, at least within range. I don't even have a phone because of this place. It's the 1800s here. Hey, May. Yeah? I'm really glad you're not dead. Me too. Yeah. 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 Can we all hit the sack? Cool. I'll be right out. Hey kids, can we do lights out now? I'm gonna drop over. Yeah, dude. Sounds good. See you all tomorrow. You sure it's safe for you to leave? Safer for me, at least. Nobody's been following me. I wasn't in the woods the other night. Oh, right. I'll keep an eye out. Also, I got base. You carry mace? Since that dude followed me home that one time. Oh, right. Hey, May. Yeah, girl. What's your name short for? Margaret. Take care of yourself, Margaret. You too, Jeremy. Do you know why I beat down Andy Cullen six years ago? No. We weren't talking then, and I thought it'd be weird to bring it up now, and... I was playing this video game. You were, like, dating ghosts or something. Okay. And I was really into it. Played it, like, 24-7. Until this one afternoon, and suddenly, like, something broke. Broke. It was just, like, pixels. The characters on screen, I felt like I knew them. They weren't people anymore. They were just shapes. 
and their lines were just things someone had written. They never existed. They never had feelings. They never would exist either. And it felt so sad. Like I just lost these real people. And this whole thing we had, it was just me alone. And like that realization dumped out of the screen and into real life. Went outside and the tree out front, I looked at it every day. It was like a friend outside the window. Now it was just a thing, just a thing that was there, growing and eating and just being there. Like all the stuff I felt about the tree was just in my head and there was some guy walking by and he was just shapes just like this moving bulk of stuff and I cried because nothing was there for me anymore it was all just stuff stuff in the universe just dead wow that's huh and the next day was that softball game. And Andy was the pitcher when I was up. And he was just shapes too. Just lines someone wrote. Like nothing in there. And I was so scared and angry and just... I don't know. Before I knew it, I was on top of him. Smashing his face with the bat just shapes red shapes all over the grass oh my god May have you talked to anyone about this after it happened they made me go to therapy with Dr. Hank oh god he's the worst and he made me start a journal a journal yeah, he kind of just said it would help me be able to get my thoughts down. Did it help? Kinda? Sorta? But since this whole thing happened, when I'm alone in a new place, it's all shapes. Like back at the softball game. I was doing fine at college for a while. But I couldn't make friends. I was just afraid of being outside or around people alone. And there was this statue of, like, the founder or something. A really shitty statue, like, all rusty metal. And it was these shapes. And he was pointing down at me. And I was so scared. I didn't leave my dorm room. I either didn't eat or ate entire pizzas at once. I downed cough syrup just to sleep all the time. And finally, I got up the courage to leave. And I came home where everything was fine. Where I knew everyone and it wasn't just dead shapes watching me. Jeez. Something broke in my head, in my life. I don't mean to be like whatever, but it sounds like you're suffering from some serious stuff. And like, I can help you find some help for it. Dr. Hank already tried. I think Dr. Hank should stick to family medicine and dentistry and the half dozen other things he does, and maybe leave the mental health services to someone else. Like there are such things as depression and anxiety and like, I don't know what you're going through. It exists. I, I thought when I came home, I just, I felt so safe here. 
and everything made sense for a few days. And then all this. And. 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 Shh. It's going to be okay. We'll figure this out. I'm so scared. I know. We're all scared. But we're going to make it. You should. Get some sleep. I... Uh... Bye, guys. Love you. The hole in the center of everything. What are you? Are you actually a ghost? Or just some... guy? What is this thing in my head? Are you doing this? Why is this happening to me? Talk! Fine! Let's do this! Get away from here, you piece of shit! You're outnumbered, asshole! Ah! You shot me! And we can all use both of our arms. I will personally dismantle you. Wow, jeez, B! Ah! Ah! You okay? What are you? You are such an idiot. What were you thinking, coming out here alone? This is all because of me. Oh, I'm sorry. Are you the one putting on a dumb costume and following me around and kidnapping people, maybe? Is that your fault now? He... It... It's in my dreams. Hey, kiddo. We're out here. Outside your head. Whatever's going on in there, I believe you. But I'm not gonna let you wander off into the woods to die. No, but... Oh, shut up. Would you let me do this? Oh, that's cheating. Putting it that way. We're all in this now. And even if we weren't, I'd still be out here with you. Me too, obviously. Clearly. Clearly we all would be. Listen. I'm all the family my dad has left. I for damn sure am not dying out here. And you're... God, you're the closest thing I have to a sister. I don't want you to be gone. So you're not dying, either. <laughs> that sounds okay. By me. Well, he's wounded. Sounded like he went back up to the mine. Yeah, what do we do? Follow him, I guess! No. I have to go alone. Anyway! Yeah, anyway. If he's up in the mine, we might be able to quarter him and... Tie him up? Or something. 
Can you walk, May? I... I think so. Might be a little slow. I'll help you if you need it. Thanks, big guy. Alright. Let's go do something really stupid. Gates open. Oh, jeez. What? We could, like, block it or shut it or something. Ah, oh, dang! You're right! No. I have to go down in there. Well then. Looks like all of his friends are gone. Just one guy. Just one guy! Just one something. Bang, bang!